Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today I will guide you through deploying PostgreSQL database on your Kubernetes development setup. For developers, having Kubernetes environment is crucial as it enables them to seamlessly replicate, test, and deploy containerized applications. Additionally, in development, it is important to access data generated by tests in the database and ensure that the database running on the Kubernetes cluster can persist. That it survives a restart. Let me show you how I deploy a PostgreSQL database on Kubernetes cluster running on my development machine, a MacBook with silicon chip. I will demonstrate how to make the database persistent and accessible from your IDE. Fortunately, there is a tool called Kind. So Kind stands for Kubernetes in Docker, which can be easily installed on your MacBook using the package manager bro as follow. To use Kind, you will also need to install Docker. And once you have Docker running, you can create a cluster with this command. Let's open a new terminal session. You can see I have a Docker installed, this version. So using this command, Kind bro install Kind, so just one command you can install the kubernetes in a docker kind version and now we can create a cluster using this command kind create cluster however we will take another approach we will add some information we will use configuration file why because our cluster in docker is running in a container and we need to make a volume from this container to the host machine so this is important so let me show you the configuration file prepare this configuration file this one cluster config let's have a look on it so this one is the configuration you will find it in the description but the most important things here is this configuration extra mount we define nodes we have only one nodes master and everything name it control plane and this is the mapping from um, this is on my dev environment, my MacBook. This one, you, you need to adjust it. And this one is the container part. This is from the master node called host data. And now we can create a cluster using this command. Can create cluster config and you specify the configuration. and cluster has been created. Now to create Postgre instance, we will use a deployment. I prepared this file. This deployment file is of kind deployment. And this is the most important one. Specification replicates only one. It makes no sense to have several pods for the database. You should set that to one. This is the match label to be accessed by our service. And here as you can see for example in the name of the database and here as environment variable this is the postgre user passed as environment variable in this section and this is the password demo as well and this is the most important thing so to persist the data we are creating amount this is our amount here and as you see it is mapped to the host data so this on the master node which we map it again to our machine using the configuration file so now let's apply this deployment using cube control command apply f postgre deployment has been created let's check and you see it is ready but not yet deployed let's check the port it is the status is not yet ready. We check the issue. We describe this port. So everything looks okay. Successfully pull it image. So we can check again. And as you see, our database is running. So just let me explain what we did. So we have a Kubernetes in a Docker. So the node is itself a Docker container and we deployed Postgre container inside a pod and we map it the data from Postgre container to the node and the node is mapped to our host machine. So at this way, the data is 
persisted. So we know that the pod are ephemeral. So if the pod is recreated, the data still on our host machine. So this is the trick. So let's try to access the database from our IDE. But before doing that, we need to create a service for our pods. I created this configuration file or this manifest, this one. This is simple one with this name and this is the selector PostgreSQL to match the port created and outside this is port forwarded. So let's apply this change. Has been created. We can check the status. And we see we define it using this is of type node port as you can check in the deployment file. Because this is an internal IP, we need to forward this one to the host machine. Let me show you how to do that. So using this command, cube control port forward, and we define service and we want to forward this port to the same on the host. Let's see. So now it is forwarding. In IntelliJ, let's try to create a connection. We add new one. This is our Postgre data source. This is the port and the database was my database. We can adjust this here. My database user, my user and the password is my, we can test. So as you see, it is working. We deploy it possibly in Kubernetes cluster. So I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching and bye.